What is going on guys? It's Dio here and uh, you know sometimes I do day in the life with Dio. I think this is going to be an evening with Dio. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. Um, you guys really seem to enjoy my cooking stuff. Uh, I made spaghetti last time actually uh, currently cleaning out the crock pot that uh, housed the spaghetti and failing at opening this. But um, Someone said to do a video cooking something healthier and um, I think that's a pretty good idea. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. I don't usually cook too awfully healthy to be completely honest with you guys, but um, that's my plan. But uh, this is gonna be a whole healthy evening. So right now I'm getting my water bottle ready, about to head to the gym. It just started raining outside. It's raining kind of hard. So I'm gonna have to run to the gym, which I'm not excited for. I'm gonna go to the gym to ride the bicycle, but I don't wanna run to the gym. So, uh, you know, really rough life I got going on here, but I'm going to Go, go hit the gym up, uh, watch High Point on my phone while doing it because I still haven't watched High Point, which is awful. Excuse me. And then um, come back here and make some hopefully healthy and yummy dinner. I found a recipe online that uh, I want to try out, so I'm going to give that a go. And uh, first I'm going to show you guys outside because I'm not going to record if it's raining. Yeah, it's not raining bad at all. I think it just let up as I was opening the door. like barely even misting i just look silly now but um so i'm gonna head to the gym and i'll talk to you guys in a second so for some reason some of my gopro clips actually um got corrupted and won't open on my computer so that's lovely but um pretty much i couldn't find my card that lets you into the gym so i decided to stay in and uh jump rope instead so you don't get to see me talking to the camera about it because i'm doing editing right now and that gopro clip won't load and there's one other one that won't load Hopefully it doesn't ruin the whole video. Quick update, jump rope sucks. I can hardly even jump more than like two minutes at a time. Uh, it's such a different workout, my legs are killing me. My heart's just like, ah. Oh. But uh, I'm gonna keep going. I just have to jump a few times, rest, jump a few times, rest. But the uh, <laughs> race is getting ready to start. I haven't even made it to the race yet. It's been just like talk before the race and I'm struggling. The cat's just laying here making fun of me. She's like, what a pussy, you can't even jump for a few minutes at a time, but oh, I really wish I could have found that gym card. But I guess this is a pretty good workout, even though I'm like not even sweating or anything. Oh my God, my legs are just screaming already and I haven't been doing it that, this long. So I'm gonna keep jumping, uh, try to try to make it through the whole moto, not in one consecutive run of jump roping, but uh, at least jump more. Okay guys, so jump roping didn't go as well as I thought. I'm sure jump roping on carpet isn't really the best idea. My shin's gonna hurt a little bit, but mostly I'm just being a little bitch, and I know that. But um, took a shower, you can probably tell, I'm sure you can. Um, I didn't sweat this much, that's for sure. But I'm going to uh, start dinner now. Uh, it's about 6.50, Allison's supposed to get off at seven, I think. So um, I'm gonna make some vegetable garden pasta. Um, if that sounds good or looks interesting. Um, if I remember the... Um, What's it called? Huh. It, the instructions on how to make it will be the recipe. There we go. The recipe will be in the description, a link to the recipe. So I'm going to figure this out. I've never made this before. I'm going to follow this uh, right off my phone and uh, hopefully make something delicious. We will see.
some quick notes about that. Um, I've never cut squash before. Probably doing it wrong. Don't care. Um, put this in the back. I I screwed up on that. I should have had it in the back, but I didn't want to keep reaching over boiling water. So I just moved it. Uh, dumb mistake on my part. But we're making the, uh, the sauce there. We're going to do veggies here, noodles here. Boom. All right, and at this point, we're just uh, cooking. Got the, uh, the actual sauce cooking, vegetables warming up. Uh, got the pasta boiling, about to throw in the actual pasta. Um, it says fresh basil, we're just doing this. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good, but uh, that's one thing I didn't pick up at the grocery store when I first saw this recipe. So, womp womp, but that's all right. All right, and I also got the iced tea going, so I make it in the coffee maker. Uh, you just put the tea bags up top instead of the coffee, and then boom, there you go, iced tea. So uh, I'm gonna pull this out. I definitely like it sweet, so I have some uh, sugar over here. I'm gonna measure this out, mix it in. I'm not gonna show you guys how much sugar I put in. You'll just be mad at me. I put in a lot of sugar. But um, put that in, put some ice in the pitcher. Boom, iced tea, best ever. So good. Though not healthy one bit. That's okay. And got some sugar on the side. I'm a slob. I'm just grab a normal spoon here, real quick. Get this uh, mixed up a little bit. Got to do it when it's hot so that the sugar will dissolve easier, easier into the tea. All right, so we still got some left, but I uh, will throw this in the fridge. So it's not obviously not going to cool down like super quick, but uh, at least keep it out of the warmth out there and uh, have that ready to drink by the time all this is done. And the race just ended 250 Moto 1, so we're going to come on over here and uh, pop on some Moto 2. Actually, you know, we'll do 450 Moto 1. I don't know which one is which. Got the water boiling pretty good. It's on one of the smaller bur burners, but uh, we'll take it. So now we're gonna throw in our actual uh, pasta. Do I keep calling this the pasta the pasta sauce? I don't know, I'm going crazy, but uh, there we go. And again, noodle is super easy. Mm -hmm. How do we cook noodles? Let's, whoa. Man, harder than I ever would have thought. Cooking directions, 10 to 12 minutes. So boom, boom. At the higher elevation of Colorado, I always do the high end of timing, uh, higher elevation, so we have to cook things longer. So now while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start cleaning up the kitchen some because nothing's worse than having leftover me mess from last time plus leftover mess today. It, uh, it builds up quick. So we're going to uh, start knocking that out now. And all that sugar that landed on the ground, it's not like on my feet, gross. I hate that feeling, but um, get this cleaned up now. She gets in the way of everything, it's ridiculous.
We've got our sweet Heisenberg cup here. It's actually Allison's, but uh, say my name. So like I said, the sugar keeps sticking to my feet. My absolute least favorite chore. Like I'll clean, I'll do bathrooms, I'll scrub toilets, I'll do this, I'll do that. Sweeping, I hate sweeping. Sweeping is awful to me because I walk around barefoot so often. I sweep and then I'm immediately stepping back on crap and I, you can't tell where you've been. There's particles you can't see. I hate sweeping, but um, I'm gonna do it because the uh, sugar on the ground is a little ridiculous right now. So uh, at least attempt to sweep. Like I said, I suck at it, so. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she just got home and she said it smells amazing. So that's a good start. And uh, you might, might say, well, Dio, you suck at sweeping. No wonder. I just saw you do it and it was awful. I just want to do it really fast to get the sugar off the ground. So that was some bread, pretty bad sweeping. I'll give you that. But I'm just letting everything cook now. For the most part, it's clean in here. But um, just got to let that go. Keep watching that. And then as you can see, I have a new clutch because I bent this one. You know, it's not supposed to be like that. It's not too bad, but... Um, Bad enough, bad enough to get a new one. So I did get a new clutch and we'll put that on later tonight. Timer just went off for the noodles. So we're gonna check those, see uh, how they're coming along. Hopefully good. Stab in here, be careful of course, because it's gonna be nice and hot. But uh, They could use longer. So we're going to uh, in four more minutes, I guess on that and continue watching this stuff and stirring it up and making it happen. So there's actually two variations to this uh, recipe and we're gonna go with the unhealthy one after starting healthy. But uh, one thing to note, the tomatoes I guess are supposed to like open up by themselves. They weren't, so I uh, had to coax them with the backside of the spoon a little bit. Uh, not really exactly how I wanted them to look, but uh, they're smelling good. They're, they're coming along. I just thought they would look a little better, but you know, it's not all about looks, it's about how it tastes. So um, getting, letting the noodles go a little bit longer. I'm going to get some feta cheese. I'm going to get our baking pan out here. We're going to pop on the oven to 400 degrees and um, continue to let this cook up some, um, at least for the next minute for the noodles. So I actually just finished recording the whole evening with Dio. I don't know where this will be put into the video, but I keep referring to this meal as healthy. And you may, might say, whoa, Dio, it's all carbs. How's that healthy? Healthy, <coughs> excuse me, as I like, cough, perfect timing, um, you know, always means something different. Like I explain, I don't know when it'll be in the video, but I'm doing this because um, I'm supposed to be eating less meats. So it's healthy in the fact that I'm not eating as much meat. And uh, the diet that I should be on actually includes a lot of pasta. Um, carbs, is, well, not really carbs in general, but pasta. So <coughs> just like if you're on Atkins or something, that um, meat's bad, I think, and if you're uh, doing keto, then any carbs are bad. There's different healthy, no matter what you're doing. So um, I'm not saying that pasta is necessarily healthy, but not eating meat is healthy for me at this point in my life. So just wanted to throw that in as a disclaimer. There we go, noodles should be done. I'm gonna give it another try. Where do we put that fork? Right there. Give it one quick stir. See a lot of the water dissolving in there. Ooh, it's hot holding your hand over it. Holy shit. Who'd have thought the stove would be hot? Come on. Mug fire. I'm gonna put it in there. And we got those, we're gonna transfer it in here. It actually said to put a little more olive oil into it at the end, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Real precise measurements we got going on. 
sprinkle some salt into it. There we go, mix it in a little bit more. All right, so it doesn't quite look like something on a King's Chef or any of those shows, whatever, I don't even know if those shows are called, but it'll do. I'm gonna take the noodles, throw them in there, almost like pop the whole pan. Let's not do that. I'm going to take the vegetables now. It's gonna be a tight fit. We got a lot of crap in here. I think I might have went a little overboard with corn, but that's all right. And we got these both turned off. We're gonna turn this off. All we have is the oven going. And uh, this isn't really big enough to uh, mix everything in. So we're gonna switch it over to our baking pan here. Could have just done it in here first, but uh, yeah, we really want to do that. Try not to burn ourselves on this. Nope, dropping tomatoes here. Now uh, mix this together up here. Could do with uh, more tomatoes. I used that whole box of cherry tomatoes. Definitely could have done more, but uh, this should still be pretty good. I sure hope so anyway. How's it smelling? It looks and smells amazing. It looks and smells amazing. And it, she did say it looked amazing. She didn't say it smelled amazing. Kind of smelled a little bit like burnt tomato, but that's okay. Like I said, guys, it calls for uh, fresh basil. We don't have fresh basil. We're doing the uh, this basil, but I'm sure it won't be as good, but it'll still be good. Make sure it's basil as I'm putting it in here. And the feta cheese you just saw, scrub. Let's have the bite. Oh, yeah. It's coming along well. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top. I've never used this cheese before. don't really know what I'm doing with this. But like I've said before, that's that's part of it, is trying it. It might turn out and suck. And that will be a shame because we put a lot of ingredients into this. But it also could come out and be awesome. So um, try not to film Allison here. She wants to hold the camera. <laughs> and we're going to put it in the oven now. We're gonna let that bake for about 10 minutes, so we'll bump this up. 10 minutes. And uh, real quickly, clean off the counter where we just made another mess. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And sweep it on the floor where we can pick it up later. <laughs> oh, or right. I'll sweep it up. I'll do. Allison's a better sweeper than I, so <laughs> I cook, she sweeps. Let's do it. It's a, we have a good trade off here. I don't put this away in the cheese drawer how about and now we wait uh, all right guys so timer going off so we're gonna pull this out hopefully it uh comes out all right hopefully it's not like on fire or something you really never know hopefully one hand will be enough the cheese didn't really melt on it but that's all right this looks amazing put that up on there let's not spill the whole thing it's back onto the ground <laughs> Turn the oven off while we're at it. Boom, there we go. So uh, Allison just ran off to uh, get some wine and uh, beers. So what's up? Um, but we're gonna wait for her and then we'll chow down. And I'm excited. This uh, this smells really good. It looks really good. Like I said, it, it was supposed to be healthy. It could still be healthy, you know? I mean, it has some cheese now, but uh, for the most part, not too bad. And um, Pretty much, to be honest with you guys, the main part and the main reason I uh, went with this, and uh, let me just start from the beginning. I went to the doctor at work. We have a doctor at work, and I got uh, blood tests, and it said that I had a high uh, uric acid, I think it's called, which means I could uh, get gout, and it's simply from eating a lot of meat, which I eat a ton of meat. You guys have seen what I eat. I always eat meat. So um, I just went on Google and I looked up pasta recipes without meat and this was one of them that came up and uh, decided to give it a go so um, I've been trying to cut back on meat which means since the doctor told me like three weeks ago I think I've had meals without meat maybe three times so <laughs> gotta start somewhere and uh, as I find more of these recipes then uh, I'll start making them more and hopefully staying away from meat keep myself healthy and um, gout free would be the plan I sound like such an old man but uh, that's how it goes so uh, yep this should be good I'm really excited for it and uh, just wait for Alice and then we'll hammer down on it. Like I said, Allison got wine, so we're going to uh, pop bottles here. And I uh, end up putting some more cheese on the uh, pasta and throwing it in the oven for five more minutes. So that just came out. 
Whoa. There we are. Yay. yay. That's right. <laughs> Wine is always yay. Oh, she has to stab yourself, just your shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So here you go. We're going to uh, take a spatula. We're going to put another one here. And uh, get some of this out, hopefully. Hopefully not too messily, but sort of. It's not really staying together like a lasagna or anything, because there's not enough cheese to actually mold it together, but it's not supposed to be, so. It's just like a pasta bake, isn't it? That's right. And yeah, you didn't even have to put it in the uh, oven, so. There we go. This, how does it look, Alex? It looks awesome. Hopefully it tastes awesome as well. Let's go ahead and try Chunk this. of cheese on there. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's keep let's that. do that. All right. Let's, let's get hear some it. of everything. Some mm. squash. I don't know what I was doing with the squash, so just go for it. Eating is hard. Eating is hard. Forks are hard. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. I haven't even tried it yet, so... <laughs> um, but really guys, that's all I wanted to do tonight. A um, little bit of the gym, which uh, of course didn't happen and, happen and then jump roping was an awful idea. That was so hard, but um, um, Did you record that? Cause I was yeah, there is some jump roping, so that, that should be good. But um, dinner should be good. I know you guys uh, really seem to like the cooking with Dio, so hopefully you enjoyed this since I didn't go riding or anything. This is my shortest uh, day in the life, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe learn something with this cooking. Uh, try the recipe. Let me know what you think. I mean, isn't that kind of the point? You guys try it and then say if you really liked it or not. And um, I know a lot of you are really young, so you know maybe ask your parents if they can try it. That it's a healthy pasta, healthy, um, but it's pretty easy pasta too. I mean, uh, you make the sauce, but it's really just cooking olive oil and tomatoes. It's not like it was very hard. And is it still pretty good? Mm -hmm. So, right on. But I'm um, going to watch the rest of the race now. Uh, probably going to play a little bit of Reflex tonight, but I'm going to cut off my evening with Dio here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here, I can be classy. Evening with Dio. Pinky out. Oh, we have two YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's so good. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think if I should do more uh, videos like this or whatever but um thank you guys and as always until next time take it easy and if it's easy take it twice and i'll talk to you guys later take it twice. <laughs>